Welcome to the Eternal Bright Light Channel. Light is the bridge between the universe and all the living beings. Light is what makes everything glow and visible to our eyes. Without light, life would not exist the way we see it today. The universe would become a cold and dark place. But what exactly is light? To explain simply, light is the smallest particle of energy that can be transported from one place to another, in the quickest way possible. But, light has a dual nature. That is, it has both particle and wave nature. If you consider the particle nature, then light is made up of small indivisible energy particles, called photons. The photons can neither be created nor be destroyed. These photons also have a wave nature. So, light is also electromagnetic waves, that travels through space freely, at the speed of 2997924588 meters per second in vacuum, or nearly 300,000 kilometers per second. This speed is also called C. This is also the speed limit of the universe. No object can travel faster than this speed. So, light always travels at this speed. It neither accelerates nor decelerates. From the moment of its creation, it moves at this speed. But, light is much more than what we can see. What we see as light is just a visible light. This visible light is just a tiny part of the electromagnetic spectrum energy in the form of electromagnetic radiations. The electromagnetic spectrum has an enormous range of wavelengths and frequencies. A typical human eye can only perceive wavelengths from about 380 to 750 nanometers, which can be compared to the size of bacterias. Gamma rays have the smallest wavelengths, as they are the highest energy photons. Most gamma rays have very high frequencies, and are less than 10 picometers, which is way smaller than even a hydrogen atom. On the other end of the spectrum, radio waves can be over 100 kilometers in diameter, while the biggest wavelengths could be up to 100,000 kilometers in diameter, which are of very low frequencies. All these wavelengths have wave-particle duality, and travel at the same speed of C. They just have different frequencies. It is interesting to note that, visible light is the only part of the electromagnetic spectrum, which can propagate through water. It is widely believed, that life on Earth began in the oceans, millions of years ago. So, it is not a coincidence, that our eyes can perceive only this part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Now, the next big question is, how is light created? We know, that the stars and supernovas are the main source of light in the universe. Microscopically, light is created when an electron, inside an atom, drops from a higher state of energy to a lower state of energy, thereby releasing energy in the form of electromagnetic radiations. So, this creates an electric and magnetic fields which oscillates perpendicular to each other. These two fields moves through space, transferring energy from one place to another, throughout the universe. So, in short, light is made up of photons, which also behaves like waves, made up of two oscillating fields, traveling at the speed limit of the universe, which is C. But, why is C, the speed limit of the universe? And what happens if you try to approach this speed limit? Well, that is a topic for another day. But for now, let's just be happy that we have light, to lighten up the entire universe, without which, we wouldn't even exist, to ask such questions today. If you like this video, then share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. We will see you again shortly, so stay tuned. Goodbye for now, see you again soon.